the village of Homeville, by the sea, near a jetty, lived a sister and brother named Fanny and Freddy. Fanny and Freddy were lurking nearby. They glanced at each other. Their glances were sly. They had an idea. They thought it was funny. If they want a house, why, we'll lend them the money. But we'll cut them bad deals, so we'll make something off it. We'll triple, quadruple, quintuple our profit. This morning, we're here with Becky Dernbach, who is one of Minneapolis's newest authors. And Becky, what book do you have? Uh, this is a picture book called Fanny and Freddy. Uh, it's a children's book, but it's really for people of all ages. What uh, prompted you to write it? Well, I was frustrated that when people talk about the housing crisis, they often talk about how it's individual failures, right? It's, oh, they should have paid their mortgage, they shouldn't have taken out that loan if they couldn't afford it. I was really frustrated um, watching, watching the Cruise House eviction over and over and over again this spring and watching how Freddie Mac, which is our government, um, kicking my friends out of their houses without bothering to return their phone calls and they went to great lengths to try to arrange meetings and nobody would listen. took this idea and I ran with it and I recruited a really amazing talented team of illustrators and we put the pieces together and we had we had people making sets and people making characters and people making props and we brought in a choreographer to arrange the pieces and a photographer to take pictures and these are all people from within Occupy Homes Minnesota. We all had this great illustration party and um, we sprawled out on the floor of my unfurnished apartment and we, here I can demonstrate, here's Homeville, Connie Gretsch who is one of our homeowners made this Homeville and then different people collaborated with sets and props. This is a Las Vegas backdrop that was done by Dan Moore who works with Occupy Homes Minnesota. Um, he's also a graphic novelist. His Fanny and Freddie characters and their arms move from the beginning of the idea to the end. It was about two months. At this moment Fanny and Freddie together own 59% of mortgages in this country. They are the most difficult of all of the banks to work with. I'm Connie Grudge, and I'm a homeowner and also a member of Occupy Homes Minnesota. I illustrated Homeville, and I kind of gave Becky an idea on how to put mm -hmm. the whole process together. I'm Kaylin Crawford, and I'm also um, a volunteer with Occupy Homes Minnesota. I did the miscellaneous uh, town members. This is the moving truck for Homeville that we use to show the instability. Um, and then on the other side we have the bus. So this is Maggie, she's our protagonist. She was done by Eva Cohen who also did the Fanny and Freddy characters. And Maggie is our protagonist. She's the one who realizes what's going on and uh, stands up and fights back against it. This is how this moving around of figures and props is how we did the whole illustration project. So and this was brilliant. This idea of Connie's of how to put this, these pieces together was brilliant because it allowed a lot of different artists to come together and make contributions in a way that was really unified. And what's your next project? <laughs> the movie! <laughs> oh, we, we also might do one about Freddie and Fanny's little sister Sally who lives in the village of Homeville down by the valley. Maggie thought if disaster struck, she would be ready, but she'd lost all her savings to Fanny and Freddie, and yet she still had to keep making her payments while Fanny and Freddie made plans in the Caymans. With all her life savings now gambled away, on the first of the month, she had nothing to pay. And so a knock came on her fresh painted door. It was Fanny and Freddie. They wanted some more. Maggie said, that's the craziest nonsense I've heard because you are the ones who have broken your word. You gambled my savings. You gambled my home. You lied and you wrote me a terrible loan. And after